What's going on, James? With this is Boise.com, and this week we're going to talk about Murder on the Orient Express. Let's dive into it. We'll do a quick summary before I go from my previous thoughts. So, Murder on the Orient Express is about all these, uh, I think, 12, 15 people. I don't know. A bunch of people are on a train. Someone dies. It just so happens while on the train, this detective Hercule, not Hercules, Hercule, you got to pronounce it right, played by Kenneth Branagh, is the world's greatest detective, and only he is going to solve the mystery of who killed the dude. So, yeah. So going into this movie, I was actually a little weary, not too sure what was going to happen, because this was a big cast, massive cast. You got Kenneth Branagh, you had Johnny Depp, you got Daisy Ridley, a bunch of other actors I'm forgetting right now, but just a massive, massive cast, A-list stars, Josh Gad, I think, is another one in there, A-list stars, and when you get a bunch of A-listers in the same room together, it's for one of two things, and, well, not one of two things, one of these two things happen. The material is ends up being awesome. And that's how you attracted all these stars. So they came here for the script, and the script was just beautiful, or the director was on it. Something happened that attracted them there. Or they kind of pushed them all there, and they thought that just because they were the good actors, it, they would just make a good movie. You know, they don't give them material to work with. They're just like, oh, they're great. Like, look at them go. And then it ends up being crap. It happens. I can't think of a specific one off the top of my head, but... It sounds familiar. I've seen these big cast movies that kind of end up falling flat because they think the actors can do everything. When actors work with the directors or the writers or there's a big give and take there, and it doesn't always go that. So I thought this movie could have fallen on the bad side of that instead of it being a fantastic strip since this was also a remake as well. I don't know why it took so long to say that. I'm also a decent fan of Kenneth Branagh as well. Kenneth Branagh directed the first Thor movie, which I enjoyed a lot. And Kenneth Branagh actually has a big Shakespearean background as well. Uh, he, that's why they picked him for Thor, but yeah, I think he did a Macbeth remake not too long ago. And he was also the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher in Chamber of Secrets. Don't remember the name, I'll put the name right there, boom. So Kenneth Branagh, I enjoy him. And so I was like, oh, I'm willing to watch what he's got. Now we're gonna dive into like the actual movie part, what I thought about it. Uh, I enjoyed myself. I thought this movie was actually pretty solid. So we'll go through the performances real quick. Everyone did a solid job. This was well acted well executed. I thought it was well shot as well. I'm a huge fan of really long one take shots where they just have a scene and they really just work the room with it, pull as much as you can just in one shot. That shows a good director. That shows everyone doing their job, everything working in perfect unison. I love seeing stuff like that. I don't know, maybe it's just me. They had a lot of shots like that. So just stylistically, this was a great movie. It was a period piece as well. So I really enjoyed that. There was a lot of just good coming out of this movie. And I, I was just I was enjoying the visual style of it more than anything. It was really good. I really liked the character that Kenneth Branagh plays, Hercule. He really found a way to pick all the details out of it. Like this person thought they were gonna get away with it, but just so happens the greatest detective in the world was on that train, and he was able to figure out, uncover the puzzle, all this great stuff, in order to reveal at the end, you know, the the culprit. And to be perfectly honest, I don't have anything really bad to say about this movie. I've seen a lot of movies this year where it's like, oh, this is really cool, but this kind of sucked, or this was really bad, and they had this to maybe look at. Like, this movie was a solid, like, seven and a half, eight across the board. Really, I, I only have good things to say about the movie, except for that they're not really huge praises. It's just like, yeah, Daisy Ridley was there. She did pretty good. Yeah, Kenneth Branagh, that was a cool shot. Josh Gad, hey, Johnny Depp, oh, there's Johnny Depp. Like, there's nothing really, I can't praise this movie because it didn't really do anything too crazy, too different. It's a remake. I enjoyed myself. I, I was glued the whole time, but I can't really give this movie so much props because it was just kind of like, ah, you know, it was good. You know, nothing too crazy about it. It's just, I had a good time. And the critical response is actually kind of negative. I think last I checked was a 59 Rotten Tomatoes, 60, mid 60 audience score, which surprises me because I enjoyed this movie. I wasn't expecting anything to blow me away. I enjoyed the the mystery and the intrigue and the ups and downs. So, so I don't quite understand that response. With that being said, I enjoyed the movie. I had a good time. And would I see it again? Uh, probably not, but I recommend that you see it for about $5. I think this is about the best $5 Tuesday movie you can get, except for the movies that I say that are kick-ass and you gotta see right away. $5 Tuesday, this movie would be so worth it. I think that you have a good time, just get 10 bucks both of you, then you go down to go Dharma Sushi, right? not Dharma. Uh, actually, Dharma is actually down the street. You can go to Yoitomo right after, and then you go get coffee, 
or you can go to Liquid. Like you, this is Boise talk. I'm sorry if you're not in Boise, but like these are things you can do after because you only spent five dollars on this movie. So I recommend spending five dollars to see this movie because it's a good time, but then don't spend all your money. Sorry if my voice is all kind of weird and uh, throat's still bothering me. I'm trying to finally get over the sickness. I think only one more week and then. I will be healed. With that being said, I hope you like what you saw or heard with my hands. If you did so, please hit subscribe, like, share, favorite, all that good stuff. Please share it around. I'm trying to build this brand. Build the Boise brand, people. Come on, hook your boy up. We gotta, gotta take over this world. Help me take over the world. Be totally badass. But that's, that's another agenda. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Give me a hug. My voice is still kind of weird. I'm still really sick. I'm trying to get in the hands if you... Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys like the fucking shit. Damn it. Oh, man. Hands. I hope you guys have a good day, good weekend, and I messed it up again. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>